Okay, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. Standing here with me, Lee Pringle and Marlon Daniel. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. We're here to talk about the second annual Color of Musical Black Classical Musicians Festival here in Charleston. It was such a wonderful event last year. Tell us about this year, Mr. Pringle. Well, Randolph, as you know, last year was an uh, inaugural year, and this year we're referring to it as our anchoring year. Mm -hmm. And thanks to the brilliant music uh, programming of our maestro here, uh, Maestro Marlon Daniel, we have a robust, very bombastic, moving festival of all kinds of great classical music. Okay, so what can we expect from the musicians this year? Oh, we should really expect the most, I should say, because we have the best. Mm -hmm. We have musicians from all over the U.S., mm -hmm. Canada, and some from the Caribbean. Wow, wow. Yeah. Um, last year, uh, Lee, last year the audience came out. What kind of feel did you get from the, from the audience last year? I got, wow. I didn't know about this, but I heard about it. I saw the billboard, and I'm so glad I came. Mm -hmm. Never in my lifetime I thought I would see an all-black classical orchestra playing the masterworks at the highest level. Mm -hmm. As Marlon alluded to you earlier, the expectations of the music is the best because many of these musicians come from the world best uh, conservatories and music schools in the U.S. and abroad. Mm -hmm. How many years have you been doing this, Marlon? Oh, I've been doing this since I was seven years old. Um, I started out as a child prodigy playing piano in Chicago, Illinois, and but my roots are from, believe it or not, Georgia and Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yes, my grandma was from Georgia on my mom's side, and my other grandmother was from Louisiana. And okay. My parents are in Louisiana right now. Okay. And so music is just a part of you. Oh, it's a big part of me. It's, uh, it's not what I do, as they say, music is who I am. And we're looking at you on the screen right now, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> Technology, what do you, yes. What do you pull out of your musicians? Well, being a conductor, you have to lead them. Mm -hmm. You have to present to them your vision and convince them of your vision so that then they can in turn convince everybody else out in the audience. Mm -hmm. so. Now, Lee Pringle, what, what Actually, tell the audience what motivated you to bring this to Charleston. Well, if you go to any top American orchestra website, the likelihood of finding someone who looked like us is very, very small. Mm -hmm. In fact, less than 2% of all musicians on the orchestral stage of the top 10 are African American or black. And mm -hmm. I say black because there are musicians who are classically trained from other places in mm -hmm. the U.S. As a result, um, being someone who's you know, been involved with classical music and loved the genre, um, I felt that we had now the wherewithal and the ability to do this, and we could not wait for orchestra management of other organizations to venture out on a big leap, because mm -hmm. indeed it is a big leap. But it's one that I think the rest of the community, and on a national scale now, from Essence Magazine to Symphony Magazine, including Charleston Magazine, mm -hmm. all these places have now picked up on this, and they're sharing to the world that Charleston, where history continues to live, is the beacon for what things can happen. And music is a part of our history. Very much Part of so. our culture. Yes. So we're talking about piano, organ, voice recitals, quartets, chamber ensembles, um, orchestra and chorus music. And symposiums. And symposiums. If you want to learn, particularly those who have music appreciation classes, the I would say middle school to high school and college professors who mm -hmm. want to have their students experience live papers being presented about not only Charleston's contribution to classical music but black female contributions to classical mm -hmm. music and that is something that we really want to highlight we have a female concert master this year Jessica Majunkins who's from Charlotte Josh, who will be in the show uh, either earlier or later, mm -hmm. uh, Henderson was concert master last year, and so uh, this year we've, we're going the whole spectrum. And uh, Wayne uh, S. Brown, who is the CEO of Michigan Opera, will be get, uh, presenting a paper on black uh, arts administrators or the lack thereof, because there are not a lot of us in arts management that are black or African American. So is this event um, publicized 
everywhere around the country so everyone knows to come to Charleston? Well, I have a wonderful publicist, Allison Savage in Chapel Hill, who does a wonderful job to get uh, national as well as local media. And so the things that we've been doing uh, most recently, we have some local media people, Gia McKenzie, who was in television for many years. She's now running the McKenzie Group, uh, a government contracting firm. But she is our local media liaison, mm -hmm. and uh, she partners with folks like your station and others to make sure that we have a synergy for the, uh, the, the information to be disseminated. OK, well, we're going to get out of the way <laughs> because we know that's coming up. We're going to hear some, some of the wonderful music that uh. we can expect to hear at the Color of Music Black Classical Musicians Festival. Mm -hmm. And you can see the full schedule and ticket prices by visiting online at www.colorofmusic.org and also to stay informed of what's going on visit your Facebook That's page right. at www.facebook.com uh, color of musical 2014 ah oh, I think it's going to be wonderful yeah. stay tuned we'll be right back with some wonderful music <laughs> Welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. Marlon Daniel will now introduce to us what we're about to hear. Well, we're now about to hear actually our concert master from last year, Josh Henderson, a wonderful young violinist, perform Johann Sebastian's Bach Cerebon from his Partita in D minor. Okay. Okay, we thank Josh Henderson for that wonderful piece. And the Color of Music Festival, Black Professional Classical Musicians Festival, October 22nd through the 26th. Now, Marlon Daniels, why don't you introduce our second piece? Well, we're gonna be having a real treat for you today. We're actually gonna be having an arrangement of Summertime from mm -hmm. Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, which is one of our anchor pieces on our Masterwork series that is gonna be performed on October 24th not to be missed. And here we have Josh Henderson and bassist Evan Cannon. Okay. <laughs> 